anybody can get shot. We can get shot right now for being outside in the projects. Who knows? I know somebody that's been shot. My brother, they just shot him and killed him. You know what I'm saying? He's never going to come back. Yeah. Drag. I got you, baby. Even though you're gone, you still felt in a mental form. Life on, they say we got to move on. Yeah, lucky he wasn't loaded. I'm like just trying to go to like each community and just talk about it like, yo, we killing each other. If we don't say nothing about it, nobody wouldn't hear your voice. Everybody want to be famous, everybody want to create a gang, everybody want to do this, that, the, the third, fame. but it's not working. What we doing is really killing ourselves, we fucking ourselves up, yo. Still can't believe that my little homie is gone. You ain't had no weapon but the cop. We're going to get justice. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. It may come when your kids come up, but this is starting now. Justice! What do we want? Justice! It could be me next. It could be you. You never know. I feel that if nobody else do it, I mean, we won't get to a solution. War is not in Iraq. The war is right here in the United States with our children carrying guns. This is where the war is. What purpose? What purpose? That's the question asked frequently. They would have asked for ID, but now he a murderer like T.I. Lee. Shot the plan to get like B.I.G. Well, I want to see you jail for Richard Mary for the untimely death of Tim Stansberry. Yeah. I think we're on the tail end of our own little war. There were some incidents that's a couple blocks away. They've had a lot of shots fired over there. Yeah, a lot of the kids, you know, they feel because of the environment where they're from, they feel, you know, they got to carry guns and things like that. But even though they know that it's wrong. The people I hang out with, they don't, they don't pull out guns for no reason. But it's just for the reasons why. Like, they find every, sometimes, I'm not going to lie, even though they're my friends, they find every little thing to pull out a gun for. You pull out a quarter and somebody is like, oh, we're going to fight now because you, cause you owe me a quarter. And you're not going to give it to me. Like, then they pull out a gun. We're here today because as a school community, uh, we believe that there needs to be a stop to gun violence. And today we're very honored to have Terrence Fisher here um, to watch his film, Bullets in the Hood. I could have picked up a gun, I could have rioted, anything. I just picked up a camera. I wanted to talk about what happened to Timothy and what was going on in my community. Yesterday, a friend of mine, Terrence, was outside with his friend, and his friend was shot by the cop. It was crazy, son, because I just heard a shot, son, just seeing blood, son. I just want to know when we're going to get some justice. How many of you know people who have been killed by guns? Just raise your hands. Okay. It was my father. He was shot 19 times in the head and two times in the heart. But I was only three years old. But I was there to witness it. <laughs> How many people are going to try to do something about that this evening, this weekend? What am I going to do when somebody shows up with a gun? What if I'm standing on the block, OK? People start shooting on me. What I'm going to do? Just stand there, bong, bong, get shot up. I'm going to pull my stuff out and pull my heat out and shoot right back, because I'm not dying alone. So many of my students uh, come to school distraught. Somebody in their family has died as a result of gun violence. Their friend was shot and paralyzed. They have been shot themselves. It's a, it's a constant in their lives. Guns devastates them. My son. It's my baby boy. Yeah, and baby. I just seen him Saturday. He said, Mommy, he said, I love you so much. He said, I love you. He never made it back. He never made it back. Every time I see this, I think of it like if it happened yesterday. I mean, we ain't getting no justice off that. So uh, it's like every time I watch it, man, that joint make me mad. I can't watch it. I want to introduce Miss Phyllis Timothy's mother. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, young men and women. How's everybody today? I want to hear how you're doing today. 
Let's give a, let's, let's, come on, let's me hear how you're doing today. Come on, guys, talk up, talk up. You're not hurting nobody by talking up. Um, I lost my best friend through gang violence, and I was actually there when he was shot. How do you it's feel? Like, to this day, I get tired of it, you know what I'm saying? Because I see, you know, people around, especially around my neighborhood, you know, that are in gangs and stuff like that, and they out there shooting up people for, you know, dumb, dumb shit. Most kids, they, they know a caliber of a gun and not even who the 16th president is. It just tears me apart to see that you guys are being robbed of your childhoods. You're not allowed to, to express who you are, where you want to go, and what you want to be. It's crazy how we walk down the street and we don't know if we're going to get shot because there's just so much violence out there. You know, we do have to put a stop to it because you don't know if it's your little brother or your sister that's going to get shot next. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts, Kimberly. It hurts. No, he'll never walk through the tour again. And it's like nobody cares. Nobody understands that, you know, you're not doing this to be, you want to make a change. You want to make a change. Somebody has to open up the door and say, okay, enough is enough. Well, I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. The uh, primary source of violence that I've seen in this neighborhood actually has come from the police department. In fact, just the other day, I heard cops threaten to shoot a, one of our students in the back. So there's just an atmosphere, a climate of violence that rather than finding some kind of resolution um, from and among authorities is actually exacerbated by them. The police? Oh man. The police are too hard on people most of the time because just because they're on the corner and there's a lot of stereotyping also and it's kind of crazy because you can't even stand on the corner with your friends anymore because the police telling you all oh, move out. So there's like no trust between people and the police. What are you going to do about it Bloomberg? Everybody doesn't sell drugs. Everybody, Everybody is, is not, not a pedophile. Exactly. Everybody's not a rapist. Okay? Everybody don't carry guns. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? It? What do we want? Justice. What do we want? It? No justice. No. This is something that's affecting all of us, right? Terrence and Timothy's story could well be your story, your friend's story, your neighbor's story. We got to do something about it. So I'm going to ask Terrence to come back up and start some dialogue with you guys. I mean, I'm no different from y'all. I'm a street person myself as well. I mean, it was hard for me to document everything, talk to the camera. I mean, it was a lot going through my mind. I was so stressed out. That was real Because you're documenting with real power, and I really appreciate you making it. I Thanks. This is a fight, and it's, a, it's our fight. So we have to let the government know that we are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Okay? Y'all be blessed, okay? Thank you. Take care, all right? Bye. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Um, within the last two weeks, we've had about 16, 15 shootings, 15 shootings. Um, two um, dealing with fatalities of young people that are basically losing their lives for nothing. We're talking about 11-year-olds, 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds. Sadly, we have had two students perish in the past month from gun violence. There's a funeral tomorrow for one of them. He never made it back. He never made it back. <laughs> Based on the facts we have gathered. It's scary. You can't walk nowhere without looking over your shoulder because you don't know. Out there, if you look at somebody wrong, they consider you a threat and they will shoot you. It's scary out there because I got a niece and a nephew and it's, I can't even bring them to the park. Do you feel that the people in the hood carrying the guns have a civic responsibility to make their neighborhood safer? My community right now, we're not getting no protection from police. If you wasn't getting no protection from in your community from police officers, what would you do? How would you handle your responsibilities and your problems in your matter? We have to earn the respect of the police and they have to learn to give respect. 
Don't ever feel because my son was killed by a cop that they're all bad cops because it's not. I believe it's important for the police to come out and I am firmly that how can we build trust with the young people if they don't see us and we don't come out and we don't speak to them. We cannot build trust if we don't show up. Okay, this is the last stop on this tour. We're going to the neighborhood where Timothy Stansbury was killed. We have guns in our community on a daily basis. We have kids dying of guns, gun violence every day in this community. We have kids going to jail for holding, going to prison for life, for shooting their own people in this community. We're about to show a film about, about gun violence in the neighborhood done by a brother. I don't know if y'all familiar with the brother Timothy that got shot by the cop on the roof. It's welcome for everybody. And it's, and it's made for you. That's what I'm saying. That's why I want you to come. Bullets in the hood? Uh, about that dude? Uh, Timothy who got shot? Mm. By the cop on the, on the roof? Oh, yeah, a long time boy. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. And the dude Terrence, who was his homie, you know what I'm saying, is about to, this is his film. They produced this film about gun violence in the, in the neighborhood. Oh. There's a lot of people around here dying, going to hospitals can't even just go up to a local park and play and not worry about getting shot. Like, even my parents, they don't really trust me to be outside for so long. What's good, man? Yeah, what's good, what's good? You know what I mean? Pleasure to meet you, man, what you're doing. It's needed in the hood, you know what I mean? And we need to get this message out to the kids, man. No and I think it's going to be felt, you know what I'm saying, coming from somebody from that neighborhood yeah, and a sure. young brother, you know what I mean? I'm from this community, you know? I know I'm familiar. I'm new. There's some familiar faces that I see out here and stuff like that. I mean, it's good that I'm doing something like this in my community, you know? We make a lot of noise and welcome DC TV and Bullets in the Hood. How many people here have been affected by gun violence or know any of, of anyone that has been affected by gun violence? People walk around here thinking big and bad and how they know something, then go shoot somebody and get in trouble. And they wondering why in jail, why they all locked up for life. It's, it's bad enough that we have guns in our community, but why do we use these guns to shoot our own brothers and sisters? The streets, the streets is dangerous. Wow. A gun can make anybody do anything. That's what it is. I'm 19 years old right now. It could be me next. It could be you, you never know. Just a lot of gun violence going on in my community right now. I just wanna know when it's gonna stop. I mean, we the people, we can make a difference, we can make a change. We have to be the ones that, that live here. There are so much to life than guns and violence. Because when you pull out a gun and shoot and kill somebody, there's only two places you wanna go, and that's death or jail. And once you're dead, you don't come back. All right, thank you. I wanna talk to you because you're sitting here like you got a lot you wanna talk about. You sure? Because you really look like you about ready to cry. Are you OK? Whatever it is, it's going to be all right. Trust me. I just want you to keep your head up, think positive, stay away from negative things, stay in school, learn all you can to become something, and it's going to be all right. Can you make me that promise? OK, give me a hug. Aww. Thank you. Go you keep it, man. You know what I mean? It's a lot, man. It took a lot of courage to do that, man. You know what I mean? I'm on a real level. Now these hopes, I hope these kids get a chance to, you know, they feel empowered to do the same thing. Another day, another accomplishment. Yeah, drag, I got you, baby. Even though you're gone, you still felt in a mental form. Life on, they say we gotta move on. But I don't think right, I still vision at night. Moms wake me in the bed like a friend is dead. Can't brush it off, not right, but definitely wrong. Still can't believe that my little homie is gone. You ain't had no weapon, but the cop weapon was drawn. What's going through his mind to make this man pop his nine? Cause the color of your skin is the same color.